Hi, are you ready for day two of Bible Story at Home and Craft? Today's Bible story comes from Matthew chapter 8, starting on verse 5. So Jesus was out with his disciples, and they were walking along when a man came up to him. And this wasn't just any ordinary man. This was a centurion. Now, centurion is a Roman soldier. Roman soldiers weren't known for their compassion. They were tough men. And this centurion came to Jesus because he needed his help. He had a servant who was sick, very, very sick. And he valued this servant, apparently, very much. So much so that he wanted to do something. He needed to do something. So he came to Jesus. Now for a centurion, a Roman, to come to Jesus, a Jew, that did not happen. That was just crazy. But he came to Jesus and he said, my servant is really sick and he's going to die. Will, will you help me? And Jesus said, sure, I'll come to your house. And the centurion said, no, 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 no. I trust you. You know what? I'm a soldier. And if I need something done, I tell my soldiers, go do it. And they do it. If I tell them to come here, they come. Same with my servants. If I tell my servants I need something done, they do it. And if you say that my servant will be healed, it will happen. Jesus was taken aback a little bit by this because this was not usual. People wanted Jesus to come. And here the centurion, a Roman, was saying to Jesus, a Jew, it's okay, I trust you. I trust you to take care of things. So Jesus said, your faith has made your servant well. And at that very moment, his servant was healed. Kind of interesting with everything going on. We don't need to have Jesus come right to us. We don't expect Jesus to walk in the front door of our house and walk in to, into us and touch our hands or to walk into the hospital room. We trust that Jesus is here. We trust that he can do what he says he's going to do. We know Jesus with our heart that he can do these things, just like the centurion. So let's have faith. Let's have faith during this time that Jesus is going to make things right, that people will be healed, that the coronavirus will end soon, and that you guys can go back to school and be with your friends. So pray. Ask Jesus to help you, to help your moms and dads, to help everyone. Just ask Jesus to come. And you know what? I believe he will. Do you? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, there are so many people that are so anxious and worried right now, and there are so many people that are sick. We ask you just to step in and take care of things because we know that you can and that you will. We love you, Jesus, in your very precious name. Amen. Okay, are you ready for some fun? Here's what you need today. I'm going to see if I can get my camera to change, to show. It's being ornery. Okay, I can't get my camera to turn around, so I'm just going to hold up the things that you need for the activity today. You need paper plates. Just little paper plates are fine. A pair of scissors. A couple of pieces of yarn, they don't need to be very long, maybe about a foot long, and it doesn't matter what color of yarn, and they can be the same color, and some paper. And I just have some white copy paper, and I'll show you what to do with it here in a minute, and then paint. And if you don't have 
like this kind of paint. You can use tempera paint. Um, you can try it with watercolor. It may not work quite as well with watercolor, um, but just some paint. So those are the items. I'll give you a chance to get them ready and we'll get started. Okay, so my son Daniel is videoing this for me so you guys can see. The other thing I didn't tell you is you probably wanna have a piece of newspaper down. So we're gonna take our paper, and you can have more than one, because you might wanna make more than one of these. We're gonna make some cards. So you're gonna just take your paper, and I'll get a new piece here, and we're just gonna hamburger fold our piece of paper, get it nice and tight. And I've got two, so I'll make a couple. And then... One for me. Daniel wants one too. <laughs> so I'm gonna get, just get my paint here. I'm gonna make sure I've got the cap off. No, I do not. Talk about not being ready, right? Let's see if I can make a mess now. You mean see if you can't make a mess? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put just a little bit on my plate. And then I'm gonna get another plate and I'm gonna put a different color on it. I like orange. Orange, just whatever colors, it doesn't matter what color you have. And then you're gonna take one of your strings, hold it up just a little bit, Daniel. You're gonna take one of your strings and you're gonna dip it into the paint. And this is where you're gonna get a little bit messy. And you're not gonna take the whole string. You're gonna leave just a little bit out. Kind of push it down into the paint. Get it all yucky. And moms and dads, you might wanna have some washcloths or some baby wipes or something. I'm just gonna wipe my hand on the thing. And then Ooh, I'm gonna Paper do... would work. <laughs> And then do the next one in the orange. Just get it all covered in paint. Like I said, you don't need a whole lot. You're looks mixing like I got, colors. Looks like I got too much. You're mixing colors. That's okay. That's all right. All right. So now I'm going to take my piece of paper. And it's okay that my fingers are a little bit yucky. And on just one half, I'm going to take my string. And I'm going to put it however I want to, just on one half, and I'm going to lay the string out the top. And then I'm going to put the other one however I wish, and I'm going to leave the string out. Now, close it up, press down, and pull the string out. Nope. And Daniel's pulling the other one out. And then we open it up and we see what we get. Kind of a blob. I got a little bit too much paint on it. So let's try another one with not quite so much paint. This is called trial and error. That's why it's fun, right? No. That's, that's why I'm help, helping. So let's get just a tiny bit more paint. some of that paint. And let's see what we get. It'd be fun to, oh, look at that one, guys. Isn't that one fun? That one's kind of fun. Look at that. Lay them out so that they'll dry. And then once they're dry, then you can come back and you can write a special message on them and put a special message on the front. And then this could be a card that you give to a neighbor or you can mail it to grandma and grandpa or whoever you want, or even to a shut-in or to somebody that's in a nursing home. So this is our project today. Hope you guys have fun with it. Have a great day. Bye.